You already know this is Punch Drop Boxing, aka Mr. Moonshine himself. What a ugly day, a ugly day, but it's still a blessing day that we alive and tuning in to Punch Drunk. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nigga, what you talking about, man? We ain't alive just to tune in to Punch Drunk. I'm here for the family. I'm here for myself. <laughs> but anyway, um, let's talk boxing right quick. Um, Vasilo Machinko, man, he has some type of power nowadays. Yet the boxing world is the one that has given him this type of leverage and this type of power. And I'm saying in my mind, like, what did Lomachenko actually do in the sport of boxing significantly so he could get this type of power? Damn. I mean, it's, it, it, it takes a lot for somebody to do, a, you know, takes time and years and, 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 and reigns, you know, for somebody to, to really get this type of power in the, in the sport of boxing. And it feels like the boxing world has come collectively, belt federations, politically, network. Uh, promotion uh, uh, Promotional company Has come together to give Vassal Lomachenko this kind of power Now of course Lomachenko is one of the pound for pound dudes in the sport of boxing Top 3, top 4, however you want to put it Not number 1, I'll say that But he is a top pound for pound caliber fighter Yet They have given Lomachenko this type of power And of course with the help of the WBC, which they they should have never gave him that, but the, I'm talking about the franchise title. Damn, why are these people? Um, but and if you want to know why I say that he's getting all this power, it's because number one, he got the franchise belt from the WBC. What the franchise belt entails is that you could fight whoever you want. And even if you lose, you do not lose that title. Look how powerful that title is. You still a champion in the eyes of the WBC. Right? Now, look at the, the, the Super WBA. He got the Super WBA title. Meaning, you got leverage. You don't got to face no mandatories. So let's say Javante Tank Davis is going to fight Gamboa in December. December 28th in Atlanta, Georgia. Excuse me And he's going to fight for the regular WBA belt That doesn't mean that Lomachenko has to fight Javante Tank Davis That doesn't mean he's going to be a mandatory Because the super title Gives you that leverage of you don't have to fight A mandatory So it saves him from fighting Javante Tank Davis in the WBA side It saved him, the franchise of the WBC Saved him to fight Not to fight a Devin Haney mandatory and he does got the WBO And we all know the WBO You can actually say that that's just Ran by top rank And the mandatory For the WBO Was about to be Teofimo Lopez But Teofimo Lopez is also with top rank And he's going after the IBF title That is going to be Richard Coleman Now boom You take out and let's, let's say That Teofimo Lopez becomes champion Let's say if he does, I'm actually picking Tiafima Lopez to beat Richard Comey, but that's going to be for another video. I'm going to tell you why I break it down and why, why why my assessment tells you that or tells me that to elaborate that to y'all, my people. So you take out the mandatory from the WBO and of course the WBO top rank, Bob Aaron, the WBO is like brothers. You can say it like that. You can say, like I said, WBO is top rank. So he's safe from the WBO, he's safe from the WBC, and he's safe from the WBA. And there is he don't have to fight a, a unification bout if he don't want to. So Vasilo Machenko right now has all the power to do what the hell he want to do and fight whoever he wants to fight. So now we like to talk about cherry picking of other fighters. Vasilo Machenko now for the first time in his career is picking whoever he wants. Now, are we gonna, you know, hold them accountable for the matchup or for the opponent that he picks? Like we hold other people, uh, other people accountable. That it, even we held other people accountable that really doesn't even have that type of control of their career or their opponents picking. And we and a lot of people still call them cherry pickers. So, for Solomon Chico right now, you could say is a boss. 
even though he's under a promotion to come in the top rank, you can say he's actually a boss right now. He has all the power, all the leverage, has total control, probably not the purses, but he has total control of what's going to be next in his career. So now, when people talking about, oh, Javante Tank Davis is, um, let's say people talk about, oh, Javante Tank Davis is a ducker. Oh, no, because in this instant, Javante Tank Davis don't got all that power. Javante Tank Davis is with, uh, made with the promotions. They call the shots for him. He's going to have the regular belt. He's, he ain't going to have no, no, um, no say so with the regular belt. Nobody's even paying attention to the regular WBA belt. So if Javante Tank Davis and Lumachenko doesn't fight, that's gonna be because of Lumachenko. If Lumachenko is not fighting Devin Haney, that's gonna be because of Lumachenko. If Lumachenko is not fighting whoever the crowd or the fans want him to fight, see a female Lopez, that's gonna be up to top rank right there. That's gonna be up to top rank. So I could say that top rank is lining up Tiafima Lopez and Lumachenko for unification bout. But yeah, do you think that Top Rank is going to burn that bridge right quick with Tiafima Lopez? Are they really going to put him against uh, uh, Vincent Lomachenko that fast? Unless Top Rank really doesn't care about uh, um, Tiafima, Lopez, Tiafima Lopez. I doubt they'll put Tiafima Lopez and Lomachenko even though he's holding the title. I really want to know what Vassal Lomachenko is going to pay because, if, to be honest, I'll give Lomachenko the benefit of the doubt. I give him the benefit of the doubt in this sense that Lomachenko fought like 300 amateur fights. Meaning, Lomachenko was really not all about the money, but he does love what, the, what he does. He loves boxing. Because I believe if a guy's fighting three, 300 amateur bouts plus and had every chance years ago to become pro, why didn't he? So, is maybe Lumachenko is going to digress and say, you know what? I fought anybody I wanted. To, they, they put me, they put in front of me. Now I'm going to call the shots and now it's going to be all about the money. Or Lumachenko is still going to be, it's all about the glory and still fighting those, the, the, the top dudes within the division, high rank dudes within the division and keep doing what he's been doing since he stepped inside the pro level. Like I said, these are these are my Monday Wars, Monday Day Gladiators. I'm always gonna give the fighter the benefit of the doubt. I'm always gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. But I will want I, I, I want y'all to know that if the fight that y'all want to see from Lumachenko does not happen, it's gonna be all because of Lumachenko. Lou or Lomachenko. It's gonna be all because of Lomachenko. Because he has all the power now so the WBC can't get in his way the WBA can't get in his way the WBO can't get in his way see if female Lopez number one rank in the WBO and he's gonna be fighting Richard Comey for the title so that scratch there ain't gonna be no number one rated WBO so Lumachenko is not gonna have no type of mandatories within a year because remember the Bell Federation usually gives you that 12 year, I mean that 12 month uh, um, leeway to fight anybody they want to fight or anybody th these voluntary bouts before you have to face your mandatory. So he's not going to have a mandatory no time soon. Let me know what y'all think. Do you think, do, do you, do, do, the answer of why is they giving Lumachenko that type of power? Do you think Lomachenko deserve all that type of power and all that leeway and all those power players at the boxing, boxing personnel coming together and making sure that Lomachenko is going to have all that type of power? There's probably a lot of money invested and it's just not top rank. Seems like the WBC is invested in Vassal Lomachenko who really didn't even have to defend his regular title. That was very surprising. I still disagree, but what can we do? 
I disagree with Lumachenko receiving the franchise belt. I disagree with Devin Haney accepting the franchise belt. He should have said no to whatever belt, just like the way Inoue did after the fight with Donito Doné. I don't care if it's the diamond belt. I don't care if it's the gold, bronze, silver. I don't care. You are a fighter. You should have pride. You have worked your butt behind to... To be the type of person that you don't need no hand-me-downs. And that's what... Devin Haney got a hand-me-down belt. He's a paper champion. And that's not... that, that That's not... Throwing shades That's just facts Love Devin Haney But even Devin Haney Should know That he's a paper champion Nobody He can't get Devin Haney can't be mad He can't be saying Oh a guy like me Is disrespecting him Like I said Devin Haney is a modern day war Modern day gladiator It was inevitable He was going to win It was inevitable He was going to be a champion But you know and he knows and his daddy knows and everybody on this corner knows that he's a paper champion. Let's keep it real. Jamal Tarlo, we already know. He was the interim tight, uh, uh, um, titleist. We already know that's a paper champion. And they could come with all that stuff. Oh, but Canelo didn't want to fight. Nah. Stop. Canelo fight anybody. But want to have a historic bout. There was more bouts out there for him. But for some Lomachenko, I don't know. Who's going to be the next fight for Lomachenko? The only thing that I see that it might not happen, but what I see that makes sense is, is he going to face the winner of Richard Comey and, 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 and Teofimo Lopez? Richard Comey's with Lou DiBella. So there's going to be a lot of politics going on in, this, in, in that fight because WBO, I mean IBF, Top rank, ESPN, all record with top rank in this one. And Tiafima Lopez is a top rank fighter. I'm gonna do a video about the uh, uh, about why I picked Tiafima Lopez a bit to beat Richard Comey. Skills, no politics. Um, so you already know. Let me know what y'all think, man. Like, like the channel, like the video. You already know, man. Let this be. Let let's move this channel. Y'all my brothers and sisters in Christ, you already know, man. We could chop it up, agree or disagree, leave it in the comment box. You already know I shy away from no type of convos or um, debates. Uh, leave it in the comment box, you already know, man. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get my updated videos. Man, on to the next.